So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta decide how long you wanna make this thing. You can make it really long, like Ivy, and you could also make it really short, like Zori. It all depends on how big you want the puppet to be. All right, so I'm just gonna use this side. And what you're gonna do first is you kinda wanna like measure with your hand, like how long it's gonna be. It's kinda hard to explain that, just watch what I'm doing. It's just like measuring how much room your fingers have. So then that way you get a dragon puppet that fits your hand well. My first few dragons were like too big and then some of them were too small as well. So just put a line right there where it goes. And you wanna make sure to have it a straight line as well because if it isn't straight, it's not really gonna work. You're gonna make a fold. Um, generally, it should be like, um, you should fold and not just cut it out because like you want it to be like cardboardy, you know, like if you're not using it, like you want it to be thick. You want it to like not be bendy. It shouldn't be bendy. And that's why you want like a sturdy base, you know? So I'm just gonna like, yeah, pull that. Um, and then usually you get the scissor and yeah. So I'm gonna get the scissor right now. Magical scissor stuff. Right, so we cut out our side of the base. Now all you have to do is glue it. Right, here we go, that's better. All right, here's our second piece of paper. This time you wanna measure your thumb, not your entire hand, because this time it's only gonna be for your thumb. You usually want it to be like a little bit shorter than that one for reasons. So just, yeah. All right, so now we have one bit done. We're gonna glue it, there we go, it's glued. And see what I mean about like you want the length to, ver to differ? See how like that's the case? Because right now they're exactly equal, but like, do you want it really long or really short? Like Zori or Ivy? I'm gonna show you the differences, right? So this is Ivy, she's really long. And that and Zori, see how they're two completely different sizes? One of them's so much bigger than the other one. That's why you wanna have like a decided size. For me, I'm just gonna do medium. So I'm cutting them now. I'm gonna do some magical scissor stuff. Boom. So that's how I want it. Now what you're gonna do is you need like um, to make a, a triangle out of this. Um, but before you do that, yeah, you're gonna want another version of those. So you're basically just getting two identical things. Um, and they have to be identical. Here's a triangle. And out of the triangle, you see what I'm talking about? Now you're gonna like, you know, make a base. You wanna fold it too. And this is why you want it both floated, folded because then when you add them on, it should be good to go. You wanna make sure to glue them on equally so it goes up to that. And if it needs to, cut it a little bit. Now we're doing the other side. The other side's basically the same thing as before. And now you have two sides, voila. And if you're thinking, oh, this is probably done with the base. Well, it's not done with the base because what you need to do is you need to connect the things. It's not connected. So basically what you do is it doesn't matter um, what shape do you do, but generally you just take a shape, you cut it out with the scissor and you fold it and you glue it onto each side and you, you obviously put glue on it and fold it. And there you go, you have the answer in the inner part. You want a stiffer, longer part for the outside, Sam. And then you have something like that. And it's very sturdy and they stay together well. So now what you do, the fun part. Can't believe that you actually did the fun part. But see, it, it looks like a really nice, neat dragon base. And that's good. So it doesn't matter like, it matters what shape you want the dragon to be. Sometimes you have the ears up, sometimes you have them down, sometimes you have like multiple ears. So I'm gonna put my ear up. Also, I don't really allow tracing, by the way. I don't allow copying. You also wanna make sure that like the dragon part actually fits well. So yeah. Dang. So this is one side of the dragon puppet, which is actually done. You just want nice coloring supplies is all and see how um, this snout actually fits perfectly. You want the snout to go up right as near as that you could possibly can. Otherwise, the snout's like not gonna like, it's gonna be weird. Now I did the other side. 
This is the dragon. But wait, we're not finished yet. See how it wobbles like that? You don't want to wobble. So this is the tactic that I use. You want like a long thing and you fold the bits and you put glue on them and you attach it like that. And in that way, it won't like, you know, and you also want the ears to be glued together. So then that way they don't come flying off either. And there you go, your very own dragon puppet. I hope you enjoyed.